more of both entertainment and sports hey, today. Keep God first. Watch me on entertainment and sports today. Stay tuned for entertainment and sports today. It's a very good point. I mean, you ready? You ready? Stay tuned for the learning annex. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Here we are with the world's most famous billionaire, Donald Trump. So, Donald, let's talk about Rosie. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Who needs her? Who wants her? Nobody. Years ago, well, what? Not even two years ago, actually. You gave me some amazing advice here at The Learning Annex. You said, whatever you do, don't get an adjustable mortgage. So I didn't, and neither did a lot of other people. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The best advice. That's a very good point. I mean, it's something I've been preaching for a long time, and now a lot of people are getting hurt. And you said, you will thank me for this. And I thought, yeah, you know what, I will. And I am. I'm thanking you because I was bombarded. And I'm sure everybody was bombarded with getting adjustable mortgages. And I didn't because of what you said. I figured if Donald Trump says no, I'm not going to do it. What advice would you give the people at The Learning Annex today? Well, today we're just talking about success, how to make money, how to do well in bad times, although times aren't bad, but they're not as good as they were. And we have a huge crowd, as you can hear in the background. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is a huge crowd. And so it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll be out there for about two hours, ranting and raving like a <laughs> lunatic. But uh, it'll be fun. Now, what's the best advice that you could give baby boomers? They don't have time on their side, but they want to be rich. They can't take huge risks. What do you suggest? Well, they can't take huge risks unless they have a lot of money already stored up. Then they can take a piece of it. But just enjoy your life. Enjoy what you're doing. Know your subject. Get knowledge. Because, you know, you could be any age and get knowledge. You have to learn and you have to know your subject or it's never going to work. You have to love what you do. You have to never give up. But you have to know your subject. Now, I uh, interviewed Paula White not too long ago. And I noticed that you were also on her show. And I love that because most celebrities uh, just wouldn't be caught on a Christian network because they're afraid of it. And you're not afraid of anything, and I love that about you. Well, Paula White's terrific, and she does a really good job, and she's very popular. I mean, she goes out, she's really a star, and I did her show, and it was a great response. It was. Now, what, what is your guiding light? Well, my guiding light is my family and my work. I love what I do, and uh, I have a lot of guiding lights, I suspect. Now, I, I also, at the Learning Annex, someone asked you uh, what she should do. Uh, to become rich. And you said, well, you know, you're attractive enough, just marry a rich husband. See, I remember everything you said. Well, you <laughs> <But> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I did say that, actually, and I mean that, unfortunately. See, I say what's on my mind, and people like it, but, you know, that was a very attractive girl. She said, I have no money, I have no nothing. What do I do to get rich fast? I said, marry a rich guy. But I did uh, see your daughter speak not too long ago. Right. And uh, you didn't give her the same advice. She's also very attractive. She could just marry rich, but instead she's making it on her own. And I, you have to be so proud of her because she got up there and she commanded attention, not just because of her looks. She's brilliant. Right. She is brilliant. She went to Wharton. She was an A student all the way through. And she's very extraordinary, Ivanka. She's doing a good job. And she loves her dad. She lit up when she started talking about you. Yeah, she's a great person, and she's really doing a good job. She works for me, and she's doing a really good job. She let us know that, yeah. I know. Is she daddy's little girl? She, you know, she is. She certainly is. Now, being as successful as you are and, and with so many people, you know, asking you day in and day out, you know, for advice, what is the best advice that you could give someone about anything, about life in general? Well, I think the most important thing is to enjoy your life. Forget about the business stuff. I mean, I'm here talking about business today, but the fact is the happiest people, some of the happiest people, they're not big business people. They're people that just have a good marriage, a wonderful family, and they really enjoy their life. So you have to find a way to enjoy your life. If it's through business or through something else, find a way to enjoy your life. Thank you very much. You know what? I just The last thing, I just have to say that in your book and uh, also on the show, you said 
enjoy the latte. Enjoy life, just like you said now. And today I have heard, don't enjoy the latte, save that money. And I like it your way so much better. Enjoy the latte. <laughs> you can enjoy the latte, but you still have to have something left over, that I can tell you. Right, but to live rich even on your way up there. Well, live rich, but live smart. And if you don't live smart, you're doing a great disservice to yourself and your family. Did you ever get fired, by the way? I haven't been fired. No, I don't intend to be fired either. What advice would you give some of the people that you fired? Well, I give them a lot of advice. The uh, biggest advice is don't get fired. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so tuned. much. Stay Thank you. Say stay tuned for learning apps. Donald Trump, stay tuned for learning You ready? You ready? Stay tuned for the learning annex. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is, are you taping this or something? Or? The, well, this, not not the show itself. Not the show. Okay.